Okay guys, today we are working on a 2005 Chevy Equinox. Uh, I believe it has a 3-4. Um, customer complaint is um, driving on the road when you hit the brakes, sometimes the ABS will activate. And uh, let's see if I can get you guys, see if we can duplicate this issue. Didn't do it there. There it did it. And then this guy's backing up right here. Let's see if it'll do it right here. So that's the issue when slowing down the ABS activates. Hook up my scan tool and so no lights on the dash. Uh Hook up the scan tool, see if we have any uh, trouble codes, and then we'll take a look at some live data. Anti-lock brakes, codes, display codes, do current, no codes present, history codes, no codes present. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to data display, and do a custom. Just gonna bring up our wheel speed and then our ABS pump. All right, so left front, left rear, right front, right rear, and then right here is our ABS pump. Um, that'll just tell us when our ABS pump is activating. So do another road test. This lot sucks. This glare sucks. Didn't do it there. Good, I didn't want it to because you can't see anything on the scan tool. Just did it right there. Potentially our left front. I'm moving real slow. All these wheel speed sensors are responding except for the left front. It looks like it might be the issue. It is responding when I speed up a little bit. So right now, the ABS was activating. It's a bad glare. Okay, so right here, we're moving slowly and all the wheel speed sensors have that except for this left front. So it looks like potentially, I don't know, maybe Maybe an air gap issue or 
something with this left front wheel speed. So let me, I need to turn around real quick. Can't see anything from this angle, but as we speed up, the left front is responding, but at slower speeds, doesn't do it all the time. Moving at slow speeds, all my wheel speed sensors are reading, I don't know, three miles an hour except for my left front wheel. But if I speed up a little bit, um, you can see we start to get a signal from the left front. And that would be the wheels are turning faster, so the amplitude of our signal is increased. So at a slower speed, low amplitude, or it's a lower frequency, whatever you want to call it. Sorry about this glare, it is pretty bad. Right here, you can see the dip down on all, see my right front, right rear, left rear, all but this left front, and that is cruising at a really slow speed so there is no signal and that is when my ABS activates at slow speeds coming to a stop and it's I believe it's because this left front wheel speed sensor is losing its signal and the ABS unit is taking that as a locked up wheel so it is activating the pump I'm just gonna drive this at some higher speeds show you that our our wheel speed on our left front works at higher speeds It feels like crap in this car. Oh. Not a smooth road. So all my wheel speed sensors are reading the same. Going almost 30 miles an hour, 27, 28. They look good on my scan data. So that would be at my higher speeds. So at higher speeds, the amplitude or frequency of our wheel speed signals are much higher. I didn't feel any ABS, but I don't know, real quick, if you could see that zero on my left front wheel speed, you can see it changes to zero much faster than the other three wheels. Left front was zero before all the other wheels. You can feel my ABS pump activating. Oh. <laughs> this thing does not take bumps. I hit a pothole and the whole front end just goes left. Even taking turns is kind of scary. So maybe one more check. I just want to do, I just, I do want to look at these signals and I want to compare the front wheels. I just don't know if I'll be able to lift the car where I'm at. So that's the next test I want to do and we'll see, we'll see if I can do it. So.
Looks like, man, that's hard for me to see. There's our connector. And it looks like it definitely is, is a part of the bearing or the hub assembly. But uh, we could do some, some checks right there and even possibly compare. Uh, I'd like to get a jack and maybe jack it up just to spin the wheel real slow and show you it. I think at low speeds we don't have a signal. So air gaps are pretty important. All right guys, so what we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna get a jack and a jack stand. I'm gonna cut this wheel and uh, we'll hook the scope up to the speed sensor and spin the wheel. We'll look at the amplitude of this signal and uh, we're going to compare it to the right front which would be a known good or a suspect you know this is the suspected bad side so jack and jack stand safety very bright out here today this is a abs wheel speed sensor is a two wire permanent magnet ac generator as speed increases signal frequency and amplitude also increase so we're looking for an AC sine wave sensor. Um, should be able to produce its own voltage. Um, it says down here, it's kind of hard to see, but the wheel speed sensors are an integral part of the bearing and non-serviceable. So, if indeed this is an air gap issue, which I think it is, um, it's just going to be getting a bearing anyway. So, take a look at the signal. Uh, for anyone that's interested, this is where I'm set up on this wheel speed sensor. Positive and negative side of this left front wheel speed sensor. All right, so I'm gonna spin this wheel. It's very hard uh, for you guys to see this waveform or the signal. Um, I am getting some changes when I'm spinning the wheel, but uh, might be easier for the camera to see these data pigs. I'm going to spin this. Maybe change into one. But not getting too many changes. Yeah, I mean, we are getting some spikes. Maybe I don't know five miles per hour is that what that says max of five yeah um, let's see here I could put you on the scope but it's really hard to see stop that. Honestly, I just can't spin this wheel that quick. So we are getting some... There is a signal. Zoom in on this a little bit. So that is me spinning the wheel. That tells us that we do have a signal. Um, but what I want to do is now I will compare it To the right front side and I just want to see a difference in the amplitude that's going to confirm with me because I'm gonna I'm only gonna be able to spin these wheels the same amount of speed as much as I can turn them or as fast as I can turn them which isn't very fast but if I can spin them at about the same speed and we have a difference in amplitude that will confirm with me an air gap issue on this left front side so let me get set up on the right front and we will do the same test all right guys I'm now hooked up on the right front this is our waveform from the left front um, I do want to get some amplitude on that just to see and it looks like 
we have a min of 0.2 of a volt and a max of 0.1. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this right front and spin that and we wanna see, it should be uh, much higher than that, my thought. So just keep that in mind, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. can see the difference. That's pretty sweet. Zoom back out. We have a max of 0.4 and a negative 0 0.038. That, uh, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. You can see the difference in amplitude. I am spinning this wheel exactly the same. Let's go to our scan data. And uh, we will look at the right front. Spinning the wheel the same. Definitely getting some changes on there. Four, uh, well we had five on the left front, but this waveform, this confirms it for me. Just the difference. And what we have is an air gap issue on that left front side. And when you're dealing with these wheel speed sensors, air gap is critical. The negative voltage, like on this one, I'm reading 0.1. On the other side, I was reading negative 0.17. Um, I just had my leads flipped around. So, ah, that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna tell my buddy to put a hub assembly on this left front. does it for me just for the record I am being safe I have a jack a jack stand underneath and on this side I have the wheel blocked and this is an all-wheel drive vehicle um, even for a front-wheel drive being that the other side is on the ground um, you have to put the vehicle in neutral so just to be safe jack jack stand block the wheels Tell my buddy to uh, put a left front hub assembly in this, and uh, I'm not going to be able to see the after, but I'm feeling pretty confident, and uh, I will get his word after that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.